Well, the season did not get off to the start the Kings wanted with goaltender Jonathan Quick getting injured in San Jose. You always know that you're going to have to deal with adversity at some point. For the Kings, it seems to be right now. It was foreshadowed a conversation we had in the summer. We were just discussing what happened with Montreal and how to lose Carey Price and to see your season, you know, fall apart. Patrick Marlowe, the veteran, out in front. Forked wide by Pavelski, a wraparound, shut down. Quick got back. He's the best goalie in the league. You lose a guy, you kind of lose your backbone of the team. Jonathan Quick is seeing a number of doctors just trying to get either consensus or eventually an executive decision made by the team over how to proceed. This is not going to be a short-term injury. He's going to be out long-term. When you lose a world-class goaltender, it's got to be a rallying point or your season can fall apart in a hurry and unwind. We had a team signing thing in Ontario and I think we're at the rink and we're watching the game and, and then all of a sudden I see that happening and then uh, I got a phone call from Billy that I got to come up. Just three years ago, Peter Budai's NHL future was uncertain. After two seasons with the Montreal Canadiens, he was traded to Winnipeg and immediately sent to their AHL affiliate, the St. John's Icecaps. It was a very tough time for me. My mindset was not right. I think I tried to get back to NHL as fast as possible, as soon as possible. And I think that I kind of messed myself uh, mental a little bit there because I wasn't focusing on a process. Budai started 19 games with the ice caps, but didn't register a single win. It'll come back to the monstrous brain. A drive and they score. And a drop back here and they score. Now another turnover and here's another one. Just like that, Peter Budai's given up three goals on five shots. The following summer, he was a free agent, but the phone never rang. Come August, mid-August, I had nothing, you know, so I had no team interest in me. And when I was looking at the rosters and everything else, I never mentioned Los Angeles Kings, you know, because, you know, they had a, you know, good young guys, good young goalies. They just won a Calder Cup. Budai's agent encouraged him to take a player tryout with Los Angeles. When I was coming to the camp, you know, I just talked to myself and I said, you know, just let's go out there and uh, just play, you know. You never know, you're gonna get signed, you're not gonna get signed. Just enjoy this and see where it takes you and just try to enjoy this one more time. By the end of camp, he earned a spot on the Kings AHL affiliate. With the Ontario Reign, the 33-year-old Budai found new life. Daily club save, Budai! Good snapshot on goal, hand save, rebound, and Budai holds on tight! Budai allowed less than two goals per game and led the AHL in save percentage, minutes played, wins, and shutouts. I don't think that I can pinpoint exactly what I do. I just try to enjoy every single moment and just play the game and not worry about what's gonna happen or what kind of numbers I'm gonna have. So this season, when his number was called following the injury to Jonathan Quick, the veteran goalie was ready. Nice stick. It was a chance for me to show everybody that I can still do this. You know, try to show everybody that, you know, I take this chance seriously and I want to help the team to win games. It's been incredibly admirable, the job that Peter's done, to go from being a guy that looked like things were done for him in the American Hockey League to coming in and backstopping Ontario last year and being able to fill the gap the way he has. There you go. Nice. There's a lot of things that he was able to get away with at the American Hockey League level just due to his experience. But I think he's come to realize that the work's got to be put in each day. Hey, that's a situation there where you got too wide right off the bat, and now you're out of control when he, when he steps. If he's a wrap, you are fine. But with a walkout, because you're too wide, you don't have that ability to get yourself out. Here we go. He's proven that he's, he's pretty calm in the net, but has probably had to learn, you know, the importance of having detail game in and game out, you know, in order to stay at this level and be a number one guy. Feet, feet, feet. But the bottom line is he found ways to win. He's gotten better and better each game and realized the work that needs to be put in for him to be successful. At 34 years old,
Peter Budai is playing the best hockey of his career. Cutting in deep now, and a save by Budai. Abs hop, shot, save, great move right there. Nice move down the middle, save by Budai. He's proven he's the number one guy here right now. He's a solid guy that's been around for a long time. There's a reason for that. He's got a great skill set. He makes the saves that he should and a few that he should in every game, and that's what you need. He's given us a chance to win every night. With Jonathan Quick still sidelined with injury, the Kings must rely on Budai and Jeff Zakoff as they fight for the playoffs. We have the attitude that, that Jonathan Quick will not be back. That's the approach that we have to take. And if we get Jonathan back at some point, that's a bonus. Right now, we have to take the approach that, that Peter Budai and Jeff Zadkoff are our goalies right now. Driving in deep, and a pass up the middle, and a save by Budai. It's just amazing for me to be here, and uh, compared to two years ago, if somebody would tell me that this is the situation, I would be like, I don't even think, give you one out of a thousand that this would happen. You just got to stay humble and don't try to think too far ahead, you know? Uh, it's a long season, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint.